Hey everybody, Jason here, Samco Workshop, and we are here at J.C. Lewis Ford in Statesboro, Georgia. And we're going to talk about this today right here. The truck I would buy if I was buying anything other than a midsize. This is the one. It would beat the F-150, it would beat the 1500s, it would beat all that. It would be this exact truck as we see it right here, an XLT Tremor model in a 250 with a gas motor. This is what I would buy. We're going to take a look at it. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to show you some of the features. And uh, But if you are looking for this specific truck, uh, it is here. It is available. Come see Ryan. Here's his info. I will zoom you in a little bit. So you have that right there for you. And that's who you want to contact here at JC Lewis. And uh, But this is the truck. And so what do we know? What you know? What is it about the... Uh, uh, the actual Tremor version that I like so much before we dive in and start going through it. Well, the Tremor gives you the rear locker on here. It also gives you the front limited slip uh, differential. But remember, and I've called them before, I called them a, uh, you know, a, a fake locker. Or I called it even a locker. But it's a limited slip front differential, but it's made by Dana. This is a Dana Series 60 axle on the front of this thing. And it is phenomenal. And it's also very easy to add a locker, an actual electronic locker or air locker to it if you wanted to. Dana 60s are what a lot of the guys that run 40s on Jeeps and stuff go to is a Dana 60. And this truck has it automatically. And it's got a limited slip in there that is, is second to none. Dana also makes the axles uh, for Jeep. And their limited slip versions are so close to a locker that it's pretty dang incredible. Um, so you get a lot of capability with this truck plus you're getting here it's got 35 inch tires on it and uh, you can fit 37s on this tremor model you can fit 37s on it without making any changes is from what i hear so being able to put a 37 inch tire on here you take this already almost 11 10.8 inches of ground clearance up to by going from a 35 to a 37 on this thing which is not an expensive change you sell these tires buy those it's only a few hundred dollar upgrade and you end up going up to almost a foot of ground clearance on this truck, which is very impressive. So, I mean, we are talking about quite a beast of a truck. Now, I would go with the six foot, six foot seven bed, is what I would put on it, which I believe is what you got here. I'm thinking this is what this is on here too. We'll look, but because um, I don't think you can get the Tremor package on a long, can you? Uh, this is the uh, 160 inch wheelbase style side. Yeah, so um, but basically here's the sticker price on this thing So we will show you now you can build one of these for about 60 grand the way I would build it You got some extra options on here. You got uh, the uh, uh, you got a sport appearance package on there. You got the uh, premium package, which gives you all these extra things that you're seeing right here. There's your tremor package. But when I price one of these out, I can price it out for about $61,000. And then with some of the rebates and the stuff you can get on there, you know, you are talking a, a truck that's very feasible to be able to buy in the uh, upper $50,000 range for this truck. Okay, with the gas motor so it's not ridiculously you know it's 10 grand less than a power wagon which would be the only other full size that i'd be in or uh, super duty i'd be interested in for off-road use other the zr2 uh chevy or the, the zr2 2500 is nice also but now you're up into the upper 70s so this is a steal the absolute steal of a buy sorry about all the noise here we got a little bit of traffic right here where we're sitting but this thing's a, a beast of a truck, like I said. So let's go around and see what we got. So we got Tremor Tune specific off-road suspension on here that you're going to get. We have that Dana 60 series front axle. We got the, uh, you know, you got 35-inch tires, easily trade out of bowl to 37s. You got the Raptor boards on here, which are the best running boards that they've ever made. And, God, these people with their bikes and their crap being so loud. Sorry. But I love those boards how high up they are and then they also offer tremendous rocker protection uh, for your rocker panels to be protected so that's a beautiful beautiful board on your side step on there you also have the side step right here for getting into the bed like i said we got the 35s we got off-road tuned like i said rear suspension on this as well too as as we do in the front and we have the extra side steps right here too so you got both ways to get in there um this one has just your standard drop function tailgate i do love how that ridge line and how some of that new f-150s you can swing them open sideways too that's a nice feature because the truck that's this big uh it's hard to get it you know I, i'm only five six but i can't eat that's as far as i can reach into this okay it's as far as i can get 
Um, so this is a massive size truck. There's no doubt about it. It's absolutely massive in size. Um, so it would be nice to have that uh, that other access to get that this tailgate out of your way to reach in closer. Um, but like I said, I don't know if they even are going to offer that on a Super Duty. Tailgate being huge, but it's still very, very light. Okay, So it's not heavy. It's, uh, you know, it's air, it's dampened. And it's very, very light to put up and down, which is a nice feature. Awesome hitch on there that you have on that setup. Uh, you know, your basic stuff that you would expect to see. And uh, in the bed, we'll jump in from here. Again, not bad having that step right there. You can see all your tie-down points, all corners, plus the track system, plus LED bed lighting in there too, which is a nice feature. Coming over here, now in the back of this thing, Ford always has that flat flat system back here the flat floor it's amazing look at the amount of space behind here absolutely incredible space in here i mean my god i could sleep three people back here there is so much room in the back of these rear ac vents which is important to a lot of people down here in the south power power uh we probably got more power here yep more power there and you got your AC right there. So you got everything you need power-wise back here. Map pockets on both sides. Tremendous room in here. Seat stays up on its own. Pull this, drops that back down. Uh, do we have a drop down on this? I don't believe Ford usually does. I don't think they do. Uh, but it is 60-40 split, which is nice. And so we can lift up this side as well too. There's your power inverter, but so much room in the back of this seat. They're going to stay locked up until you hit the lever on them. Which is kind of nice because it keeps them up. But I mean, when you put those up, look at how much room is in here. Tremendous room. Good storage. They make kits that you can buy that'll put in here and fill that in. So you got room to store all kinds of stuff back here. But that is a tremendous amount of space that you have in here. So now let's drop these back down. We'll hit the other one when we get to the other side. Let's look at the door. Obviously, the door's got tremendous amounts of storage in it. I mean, we're talking about a big truck with a lot to it. I love the touch on here. This is a very nice feature, especially for those of us that hike, hunt, and spend time in the woods fishing. We can leave our key inside the vehicle. It's a nice feature to be able to do that and not have to carry it with you. Uh, before we go in, let's take a look at the front of this thing. Now, being a Tremor package, we are losing that front air spoiler which is nice so it's, it's a lot shorter you can see how little that size of that is compared to this one okay here's a, a 250 non-tremor on 30 with a upgraded to 35 inch tires so same size these are 35 by 11 and a half these are 35 12 and a half but look at that front dam on air dam on there compared to the one that we get on here on a tremor very very nice feature tow hooks on there this is the front of that setup like i said gorgeous truck um, in that aspect, marker lights on the top, the whole deal, everything you want. Um, but when we come into here, okay, again, tremendous storage in the doors. Cloth seats, I love that. I know that a lot of people give me crap for that, but I'm sorry. But uh, cloth seats win hands down. I have never, never been a fan, never will be a fan of leather seats. I, I just don't like any part of them. Massive storage compartment in here too, which is just awesome. You're getting a lot out of this truck. Look at how big this step is and how beefy that step is too. And for me, as you can see how high up my leg is already as a short guy, that's pretty impressive to be able to use that. So now we're in and we got a lot of features to it here. Now this one is fitted with the upfitter uh, switches. So you have all your switches right here for any accessories you wanna add, lighting, uh, plow setups, uh, off-road lights, anything you wanna do, you have your upfitter lights or switches here. And you have light controls right there for that kind of stuff. You can see, now I'm way back here. We're gonna scoot this in closer to where I can see it. Your steering wheel layout here. We're not gonna go through all the tech in here. We'll fire it up for you though. Okay, now we got some good off-road modes in this vehicle as well, too. I'll list all those modes right here for you. But I think you're like, uh, I want to say it's like 430 pounds of, 430 horsepower and 485 foot-pounds of torque for the 7.3 that I would get. So uh, got everything you're looking for. Brake controller right here. Here is your drive modes, your off-road modes, your two high, four high, four low, and you also have your rear locker right here. So you have a rear locker 
You also have that front limited slip made by Dana, which is incredible in here. Actual real knobs for your climate control, real knobs for your radio control. It's a beautiful feature. And it's really nice to have an actual shifter here. Plus you got your plus and minus for your, uh, if you want to shift yourself like when you're towing and doing things on that level. So uh, power right here nice got 12 volt power there and you got ac power up front which is a beautiful thing usb usb c here massive compartment down here phone cradles right here that have wire ports to come through for your charging for your phones to drop through there uh, you have an adjustable four cup holder or you can use it for two cup holder that's nice so you got this big compartment but if you wanted to you could also make it four cup holders simple little easy functional stuff we like that you got your dual glove box on here where's my uh open for this particular how does it push or what i don't remember how oh right there there it is so there's your uh top glove box which is nice my ram 2500 head up and down on here too so those are nice features you got your lockout right there for your passenger airbag but a big lot of storage room in here big compartment here and a lot of room on that dash for workers and stuff to throw clipboards and paperwork and anything you want up here i mean it's just this truck is built to to be used inside setup more cup holders right here makes for a total of two here two here plus two here for six cup holders in range of the actual driver that's nice you got your huge massive compartment down here for storage down in here and i'm sure on amazon you can buy one of these it's bigger if you wanted or added another one on my f-150s i always went and bought one more of these and they'd fit next to each other so i'd have one here and one here so i could have two of them right there these i don't know if this one will fit too but on my F-150, I was able to put two of them together um, on, on my last few F-150s. But it's got a light in here, too, which is nice. Uh, cord recess right there for that. And you have a big pocket over here, too, that is a twin to this one. So tremendous space inside of this truck. All your controls, nicely done. Nice soft touch leather right here where your arm is going to go. Soft touch here where your arm could go. Well done. Simple to clean dash, like I said. Um, you know, everything about the inside of this truck just screams perfect. Everything you need, nothing you don't. So that's a beautiful, uh, beautiful setup. So you do have camera systems on here. You can see where they are and you can get more advanced cameras, uh, more options, things like that. You got your traction control button, hill descent controls. You have all your drive modes here. If we hit this, see if it's going to tell us any of them while we're driving. You got trail turn assist, which is pretty awesome. So what trail turn assist is going to do, because this truck is big, if I were to try and make a right-hand turn, I'm in four-wheel drive, if I hit trail turn assist, it is going to lock up that back wheel and put apply brakes to it and turn all the other wheels so it works like a skid steer and it'll pivot around there and it gives you 40 percent more turn capability tighter turn radius because it's going to take that back wheel lock it and then the rest of the truck can pivot right around there so it's a really nice feature to have that uh uh to have that trail assist mode in there but uh, and i'll list all those drive modes um that's the one that's letting me show me and we're not going we're not putting it in four high and everything right now um so but like i said beautiful design beautiful layout awesome features uh fantastic truck and we're gonna go dive in a little bit more on the outside for you all right now we are back out here on the outside we're taking a look around out here one more time quick walk around for you now you also get full obviously expected to be two but you get a full size spare under here you got your tremor package shocks on this thing uh like i said very capable four-wheel disc brakes the whole setup look at the size of that rear diff um and skid plate wise you do have a skid plate over the uh, gas tank which i'll show you the only downside that kind of bums me out now these are very beefy and well built and i bet you could hook to those because they're not like a standard one so you could probably use these as an anchor point um you know for uh rear recovery as well too besides the hitch could also go right around this tube you can fit right around this tube and lack right to that with a strap but i like having an extra anchor point on the back so if i plug my hitch in or my my receiver winch i can actually double line spool and have that set up and i can do that on this but it would have been nice to have actual rear recovery points like what you get on uh, the F-150 Tremor, which is over there, actually has rear recovery points on it too, other than just a hitch. But it's important for me to have two, to have a double hitch on the back, or double recovery point. One being the actual hitch itself, which I can put a receiver plug in, 
any other one being there but this here with how well built and strong this is i bet that would work absolutely perfect uh for that too so that's kind of a nice feature skid plate wise the downside to the tremor package is you don't get a lot more skid plate wise on the 250 version we get an awesome gas tank skid we get a transfer case skid that you can see right there and we don't really get a front skid plate on it um, but again with 12 inches of ground clearance you may not need it but if uh, you want to add one you can always add one there's plenty of aftermarket but you notice we don't get a lot of skid plate up here in the front and that's okay you know not most jeeps even aren't even skid plate protected um, in the front so uh, because of the solid front axle but like I said beautiful setup a lot of capability a lot of ground clearance a lot of bonus and having it's important to understand this when you have a heavy this heavy when you have an 8,000 pound vehicle okay and you're gonna a rear locker is fantastic don't get me wrong Okay, like in a, in a Ranger or a Colorado uh, or a Gladiator, a rear locker is a beautiful feature, even in a lighter weight F-150. But in something like this, a rear locker is good, don't get me wrong, but the front is the most important. Okay, 75% of the weight of this vehicle sits right here. 75% of it is right here with the big motor, especially if you get the diesel version, adding another 500 pounds or whatever it is. But all of that weight is right here. And it doesn't matter whether you get the back wheels locked up or not. If you can't get some kind of power coming from the front, and I don't mean just four-wheel drive, which is going to give you one wheel spinning, basically. Um, but if you can't get a limited slip or a locker set up or something in the front, this thing is going to just sink like a stone and it's not going to work real well. By Ford giving you that Dana 60 series front axle and having that limited slip set up and the option of being able to uh, aftermarket add a true locker into it is an absolute gold mine to be able to get this thing to perform off-road the way you want it to. It's a big truck it's a heavy truck it's a very capable truck and again the first mod i would make on this is i'd put 37s on there because i before i even drove this off the dealership lot or immediately after i would pull these 35s off and sell them and i would put 37s on it and you and with the tremor package because of that little lift you're getting already with this you don't need to actually add uh, anything else special in it. A 37 should fit absolutely perfect right in this according to what I read and what I'm seeing. Um, you could level it again too if you wanted to to gain a little more in there, which is not a bad idea. Uh, put a small little, you know, a one inch level or one and a half inch leveling block on the front of this to even that out some. But again, very minor conditions to be able to put 37s on this thing and have that all that ground clearance that ground clearance and that huge 37 inch tire aired down with that massive long footprint will give you the traction with this front end with a limited slip in here to be able to pull this thing through a lot of stuff and that's what you're after so for off-road capability wise tremendous this this tremor version has it in spades and that's what i really like about it so that kind of shows you uh, this truck what she can do and what she's capable of and a quick walk around version of it but uh rock solid in every kind of level right there if i was buying a full-size truck today and when i say full size i mean f-150 size or 1500 series you know half ton or if i was getting a three-quarter ton or a one ton of all those trucks this would be the one I would be in because of what it's capable of and how low the price is. Like I said, I, without, a, without question or without fail, I promise I could get one of these somewhere in the high 50s or very, very low 60s for a Tremor model truck. And that's pretty incredible. It's such an amazing vehicle. So thanks for watching.